Yo guys, welcome back to your Brian Bidon on channel. Today we're back out again with some more competitive gameplay and uh, as you see, uh, I was playing the qualifier this weekend here. You know, it's my first quali qualifier here, so you know, it's been, a, it's been a long one in the waiting here. But as you see right now, we did do a nine rounds in the EU and unfortunately, we didn't manage to make it through the nine rounds here. We did go seven and two, which means we had to go into a tiebreaker bracket here and where we play, uh, I think it was 19 other teams or like 18 other teams here. So yeah, it definitely wasn't an easy road for my first qualifier here. Yeah, definitely got some learning to do for the next one here. But, you know, we did manage to make it here. And I'm going to show you all the games right now. I'm going to tell you all the bans, all the info. Break down all the plays here. This might be a long video here. So, you know, get some popcorn. Enjoy the video here. And let's get straight into it, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let's get straight into it. Here we are, guys. Uh, into the first game. So we're playing a team called For Fun and Win. And uh, as you see right now, uh, we're going to be playing Hard Rock Mine, you know. It's a bit weird here, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna be playing Rosa here, and Tom's gonna be playing Carl, and then we have the Piper there as well. And uh, as you see right now, I'm going really, really aggressive here. And, uh, you know, it's working out really well. I'm doing a lot of distraction there, and just keeping them occupied. I got really nice value there, but that G knockback back was really, really good here, because it just uh, allowed them to push me off a little bit here. And as you see right now, Spen at the bottom, getting wrecked by Mortis there, because, you know, Mortis is a, literally the hardest counter Piper you can possibly get here. And he can't do much. As you see right now, that Mortis is doing so much work to us, guys. It's unbelievable uh, what this Mortis is doing here. He just kept us back the whole time, and we couldn't really push out here. And as you see right now, it is 6-0 here. So, you know, mentally, it wasn't too great to start off, like, 7-0 down in the first game of the tiebreaker format. You know, definitely uh, wasn't the best here. But as you see right now, and I'm going absolutely ham here. And I do lose that 1v1, I believe. Tom dies up there as well. So, you know, we're definitely under pressure here. And as you see right now, Spen's getting some nice little taps in. And Tom with a nice little dash. I think he's going to be able to take out Rosa there. And no. But I got a nice little slow, guys. I'm going to slow them down there. I'm going to be punching for the hills here. And as you see right now, I do get a nice little kill on the gene. Spam with a beautiful gadget, guys. We're just working really well together. And we somehow flipped this game around here. It's now 8 to 3 here. Tom's going to get the ninth gem. And yeah, it's just super, super close here. As you see right now, gene does have pulls. So we do have to be very, very careful here. And, uh, you know, it's not the best situation to be in here. As you see right now, we're trying to deal with this here. Moist going in is very scary here. Gene's gonna go pull Tom here, and I don't know why he didn't wait to pull me, but, you know, we're just literally on the edge here. Like, there was, like, so much pressure on us to push out here because, you know, Mortis is not the best against us. Tom does a nice job at keeping them weak here, and uh, as you see right now, it's about 8 to 8 here in terms of gem count. So, you know, uh, you know, we're a bit, you know, very even right now, but they do have more control here. As you see right now, I'm, uh, me and Tom are getting pushed back here. Mortis is weak. I'm gonna get pulled here, so... The countdown is going to start now, and yeah, so this was a very insane game here. Spam with a nice jump, and uh, I think he's going to be able to kill Mortis, I think. No? Okay, Tom's going to kill Mortis, so guys. Uh, Rosa was lagging a little bit here, but as you see right now, I'm going to be going straight for the Rosa here. And, uh, you know, we managed to pick up the gem. We managed to cancel the countdown here, and, uh, you know, it's 10-10 right now. Very, very close uh, game here, and as you see uh, right now, and uh, I'm going to get killed here probably. Yeah, I'm going to get killed, but I think I do get my super here. And, uh, you know, it's 11 11 again, you know, no team really has found a breakout play yet. So that's why it's really, really close. And uh, as you see, I do my super here. I'm going to just pick up that gem, survive there. I'm going to go straight forward here. Gene doesn't have knockback here, so I'm going to just keep running for the Gene there. And uh, <laughs> somehow the Rosa lags out. That was literally the worst timing for the Rosa to lag out. And we managed to get a team wipe there. So we do have enough gems. We have 25 to all right now. They need to kill us here. We're just going to drop back, get the time on our side, and boom, we get the victory, guys. Winning the first game of the first set. The format is a best of three, best of three here. But anyways, we're going heading into the next game. Here we go, guys, into the next game here. And the, the bands for this match, I didn't, I didn't say it properly, but it's uh, Bell, Stu, Primo, and Poco here. So that's why you see the comps that you see on your screen here. And uh, as you see right now, I'm back on the Rosa here. I really love playing Rosa on this match, guys. Rosa is so fun. And uh, as you see right now, me and Spen, and we just we just played so well together, guys. Like, we had really good chemistry throughout this uh tiebreaker tournament and that's why we really popped off here and uh as you see right now i really have a, a good positioning here Spend with a nice pull he's gonna cancel the rico super here and uh, i'm gonna be just able to stay alive here and i'm gonna be diverting my way towards this uh middle place here i'm gonna get picked out here but you know tom and spend they did a really good job at keeping this on lock tom did an amazing job at just uh taking care of sprout guys sprout is not easy like sprout 100 counters rico here and the way tom played it was just that uh, was just amazing here guys we just all really played well there and again, another good pull by Spen, guys. And again, we're just doing really well. I'm going to get a nice slow. Me and Tom, again, with a, a little bit of a combo there. He's going to slow him down. I'm going to slow him down. He's going to finish him off with his super here. So, you know, we're getting kills here, guys. And it's right now it's 8-0 here. 
And as you see right now, I have that aggressive position here. So that's why we're just so far up. Tom, again, guys, he's just getting those kills when we need it. I'm going to be pushing the, their spawn here so that, you know, we can get a lot of pressure here. And uh, as you see right now, uh, Tom's going to be uh, speeding out his way. We, we do get taken out here, but Spen is the only one alive. He does have the gems. Again, Spen with a nice pull there. He's going to break up their little push there. We have seven seconds left to hold, guys. All me and Tom need to do is just tank for Spen. Or push up the map, and we push up the map, and we secured the first set, guys. A very, very nice game. Way better than the first game, guys. You know, less frantic and more composed and, uh, you know, straightforward, guys. But, you know, getting the first set done, guys. Heading into the next set. Here we go, guys, into the next game here. And uh, as you see right now, we're playing Surge Tick Ross, guys. This is literally the go-to comp on this map. It pretty much beats everything here. Like, you, you don't really want to go anything else here unless there's, like, Poco in play. Poco Double Tank might probably beat this here. But at least right now, we saw they went tanks here. We discussed this before that tanks is probably the only thing that gives us a hard time. And at least right now, I go with the aggressive TP. We go go right here. Normally, Surge goes left, but we went right this time so that we can just uh, take care of the first tank that normally goes in. And that's exactly what we did, guys. We just played this to perfection here. And at least right now, I'm going to start putting some pressure onto this Frank here. And, uh, you know, Tom and Spen, looks like they needed some help there. And that Gale Super gave them a really rough time. So that's why it wasn't the best. As you see right now, I'm gonna, I'm really good at picking opportunities out. And that's exactly what I did with my TP there. I managed to pick out the Gale there. So, you know, only Frank is up. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna start pushing up a little bit more here. Taking care of this, guys. And I got the first upgrade. Well, not the first upgrade. I got the second upgrade here. But, guys, Surge with upgrade is absolutely unstoppable here. As you see right now, we're doing an absurd amount of damage here. Ticker take takes that out. And, you know, we, we somehow established control here, guys. And once you establish control with this comp here, you just really can't do much against it here. Because as right now, I'm in a nice little place. Surge, I'm playing Surge, guys. I've got level 4. I'm doing 2k damage per shot, guys. It's just absolutely ridiculous. That is a nice kill, though, by the Gale there. He did a really good job right now. But, you know, Tom's going to try his best and push him back. That uh, BB's going to be one shot. BB is... I don't know how he didn't die there. I think he just healed up on time. But there you go. Tom finally gets the kill there. I do believe I have... I think I have one TP left. And I think I'm saving it. For a good opportunity and here and I just right now I do get stunned here but you know we're doing good and uh, Spen needs to just hold that here I'm gonna help Spen a little bit and uh, you know he's gonna be able to take care of that and uh, as you see right now I'm holding this left side here which is good for us so we're chilling right now Spen with another nice uh, rough super there he's gonna take him out again guys Spen played a match really amazing here we all played amazing to be fair like it was a team effort on the little run we made here I'm gonna get taken out here Tom's gonna take him out and uh, 94%, this is basically a GG's here. Nice little tick head, guys. Again, Tom just uh, absolutely destroying with tick, guys. Tom's just an amazing tick. And there we go, guys. We get the second, uh, we get the first win in the second set, guys. So, you know, we're match point against uh, this team here. So, yeah, let's just head into the next game. Woo! All right, guys, into the next game here. We decided to stick the same comp. We decided, like, you know, tanks was only worries there. And they can't beat us with tanks. What they're going to beat us with. So, we decided to go to the same comp here. And uh, they changed up the BB to a Rosa here, which, you know, it kind of worked better. But, you know, we still find, we did really good at adapting during the game here and found a way to deal with that here. At least right now, I'm playing more the left side here. I'm trying to get my uh, super here so I can get my stacks going. Because once I get level 4, guys, they can't really bunch up. And, you know, it does really well against tanks here. So, that's basically what I'm trying to do here. So, at least right now, again, Tom and Spen, guys, teamwork unbelievable here. I'm going to pick out this uh, Gale here, guys. I'm just looking for the opportunities, you know. If I can get a Gale with my TP, I go for it, guys. I don't need to hesitate. And, uh, you know, Spen and Tom, I left to deal with this Frank. Frank, this is super there, and I think they're going to take him out. There we go. And uh, I'm out here dealing with the uh, two of them here. At least right now, I'm going to try and get this uh, going here. And I'm going to get taken out by this uh, Gale here. Gale played really, really well there. But, you know, we still have a lot of control there. We get that right zone. They get the left zone here. So, uh, they're actually leading in percentage here. So, this got a bit shaky here and a bit scary. But, you know, we still managed to uh, pull through towards the end here. And uh, I just right now, Spen with a nice break. I'm going to be pushing towards that power-up, guys, because once I get the power-up, I can actually properly deal with tanks a lot. And there we go. That is perfect for us here. I'm going to... I think I'm going to TP here. Oh, I might wait. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to get two nice shots. Okay. Looks like Gale didn't react properly, but I get two nice shots, guys. And I get another kill, guys. I was actually popping off with Surge here. Surge is literally, like, one of my favorite balls to play, and I think one of the best balls I can play. Like, I can play him to a really high standard here. I can just pick out opportunities and take him out. And uh, at least right now, me and Tom are in this left zone. Spence holding that right. He's doing a really good job here. But, you know, we're doing well. I'm going to dodge that Frank shot. I'm going to TP, guys. I don't want to get Frank super here. I don't want to really mess up anything. There we have going on. I get a nice shot there. So I'm just going to be one shot. Spen wins this lane. Rose is going to be one shot, guys. We get the kills. This is literally the perfect way you can play this uh, comp here, guys. And we just got to hold on for a little bit more. Tom's going to push up, so I do push up here. I'm going to take out Surge. I'm going to jump on him. And he's going to be dead, guys. And that's going to be the victory here, guys. Even though it looked a bit close to the right side, we still managed to pick it off, guys. That's going to be a 2-0 victory in sets, guys. So... 
you know, we beat this team, guys. So we played the next team, and that's going to be XO Free Agent. Here, guys, into the next game, and we're playing XO free agents here you know they're like i think they're ranked third in terms of total points in uh, eu here so you know definitely a tough match here and it was kind of sad to see that you know the loser of this match doesn't get into the monthly final so it was a it was a, a do or die match here and that's exactly what this match was it's such a close match here guys but as you see right now we're gonna go byron collect crow they're gonna go more range they're gonna go the b crow and the piper there so you know uh, really interesting comps here you know both are really good and it's just it, go, it just came down to whoever played it better so that's what i think uh happened there and uh i think the bands were poco i think the bands were poco bell Stu, primo again i don't think the band changed too much here so i think we're good for the most part here and uh, as you see right now and uh spen gets a nice little super with colette there me and spen are pushing up uh what yd did was really really smart guys he just kept going for me there i do my spin splash there i probably should have splash yd and would have helped us a lot but as you guys see that yd just kept going for me because i'm gonna be healing out spen and he knows he can't take out spen with crow because crow doesn't do too much damage here with his primary attack here, so that's why YD jumped on me here. So, you know, if you guys ever find yourself against a Byron and Colette and you're like a crow, just keep jumping on the Byron, guys. If you take the Byron, Colette's gonna be like 100, 100 times more easier to kill. And as you see right now, we just kept pushing up here. We just recl recklessly pushed up because we needed a lot of pressure here, so that's why we just tried to push up here. And uh, as you see right now, Tom's getting pinched a little bit. I think Tom's gonna jump on the safe, I think. And okay, Tom's gonna just distract and pull him out in the corner. All I'm going to do is just heal up Spen and hoping Spen can push up there, guys. B, you know, uh, B tried to stop Spen here and he does do so. But Tom with a nice jump, guys. I think he's going to have to take out Curse there. Nice. Good kill there, guys. Tom stays alive. Tom gets two kills, guys. That's actually really, really big here. And, you know, I get nice taps there, guys. That's going to be a team wipe for us. You know, Tom did amazing there, guys. He just relieved so much pressure off us because we got the team wipe. And, again, it just allows me and Spen to push up a lot quicker and easier. Because, you know, once we get that grass control with Collect, guys... Colette can just get so much damage here. And as you see right now, I'm going to splash him myself because I was getting a bit weak here. But we, we, we've got to be careful of this Crow here, guys. Crow's going to jump again. Spen did tank for me this time around here. And that's why we managed to do so well. I'm going to get picked off anyways here. Spen's going to get a nice super, guys. 79% to 68. We do have a 9% lead. So that's really good for us, guys. But the question was, how long can we hold it for? And uh, as you see right now, I'm going to just heal up Tom here, guys. So that Tom can play a bit aggressive. I just saw that. Like, his knives just, I mean, his Crow attack just barely missed Sun here. And at least right now, we're doing good at holding off here. Not feeding them too much. Tom with a really nice jump, guys. I'm going to be tanking at that. And we're going to be getting the win, guys. You know, first game, good energy and momentum momentum for us, guys. We're going to be heading straight into the next game. Here we're, guys, into the next game. And, uh, you know, we decided to switch it up. We decided to, I think we went their comp here. And we decided to just play the mirror there. Because, you know, their comps, I will say, definitely better. That Crocom was definitely better. So that's why we decided to go that. And as you see right now, Tom with a really nice start, guys. Me and Tom played it so well on this right side spin. Absolutely popped off here, guys. You'll see it uh, in the later course of this match, guys. But just Spen just played out of his mind. Sun with a really nice tap there. So, you know, Sun doing well. I think he gadgets there. There you go. That was talk that was that's what I was talking about. Spen gets like a quick little double tap onto Sun there. And again, pressure is off us here, you know. Just, we're just doing really, really well here. And as you see right now, we're trying to push up here. And uh, Cursor's had 3k, so we have to be very careful, guys. Again, great teamwork by us there. And Spen unfortunately misses that gadget just by uh, like a, I think it was a tile there. But as you see right now, guys, we're just pinching again, guys. We're making use of Tom's uh, Crow's slow there. So that's why we managed to get so much pressure here, guys. But, you know, this comp is really hard to get damage with because it's just all about keeping control throughout the whole game. And the only time you can get damage is you get a team wipe and you get a couple Piper shots on the safe here. So that's basically what happened there. Oh, I didn't realize Spen actually did a nice little jump there, guys. He stayed up. He does get taken out, but he gets Sun weak. So Sun can't really push up, guys. So that's why that was a really, really nice play, guys. And Sun's still weak. So he needs to just stay away from Tom here. Tom, again, doing really good at playing his life and just staying alive. Being a nuisance there, guys. That's basically what Crow's got to do. And again, nice teamwork there, guys. We just get a nice little tap. I am going to get slowed here. I think I'm going to get taken out. Uh, no, actually, Curse doesn't take me out here. Uh, kind of wasted opportunity. I'm going to tank that B shot with my gadget there. So that was good. And uh, as you see right now, Sun's going to be in the mid. He's getting tapped. Guys, Spen's actually just popping off. I don't know what he had this morning, guys. But Spen's just absolutely at sicker mode right now. He does get taken out there, but, you know... It's fairly even here. The match is about 50-50 right now. They do have a, a bit of a damage lead there. I get a really, really important kill onto Sun, guys. Because that just released so much pressure. And uh, as you see right now, there's only a Crow left. Crow's going to jump up. I don't know why he did that. I think that was a really big waste. I think he should have saved it for when he should have pushed up. I get a nice little 3k shot onto Curse there, guys. So Curse has to back off and heal off, guys. And I get a nice little slow. I get a double slow there. I do get taken out, which is, uh, you know, not the greatest. But I did manage to get a trade and, you know... I gave a lot of information to my team, which is very important on how you play 
this comp here and you know Whitey's in the bush there we did a good job at taking him out uh Piper's trying to push up here uh they do have the damage lead here so we need to push up right now and uh you know Curse is doing a good job at holding it and uh Whitey tanked that there guys Spen I don't know how he gets that shot off but Spen just did amazing and we get the lead there guys Spen played amazing guys and we managed to get the win we get a nice little 2-0 in the first set guys so we're heading into the next set. Here we guys are into parallel players, which is set number two here. We decided to, uh, you know, go with uh, Gene, Sprout, and uh, Jesse here. So, you know, we decided to go Sprout because Sprout is just really good against everything here. And uh, it's just kind of a wild pick here, you know. We decided to focus a lot more on, like, what type of comps we go here. We just try to be, uh, you know, more, I guess you can say, flexible with our comps here. Normally, we're just really predictable here. So, that's why we tried to... Change up a little bit here, and uh, I just, I'm on the Gene here. This is why I like our team here, guys, because Spend normally plays Gene, but he's good at really other ballers here. But, you know, once you get a, a good Gene on your team, you got to let him play Gene. But, you know, good thing that me and Spend are both amazing Genes here. So that's why our team is just really, really flexible now, and that's why it's so good for us. And at least right now, I'm going to get a nice little pawn Curse. Curse gets taken out, guys, and this allows me to get a bit of breathing space here, and I'm going to collect our zone here. They're going to collect their zone, guys, but Spen with a nice fall is going to be able to push up here. And, yeah, Spen was just doing it all up there, guys. Uh, Spen is just amazing sprout, guys. That's why I just let him play it. Let him do his thing here and go on the gene here so he doesn't have to worry about me playing sprout. Because I don't really play sprout too much here, so that's why Spen's going to be on the sprout here. And as right now, I'm on the side here. I got, like, a really good amount of control on this left side, and that's why it's really important. Tom gets taken out there, but, guys, again, it's just Spen. Spen's just doing it all here. I see Curse trying to push Spen here, but Spen, guys, he's just tapping him up so much. I'm going to... Help him out a little bit. I think Spen kills him. Uh, okay, Spen survives a little HP here. Whitey's going to try and push up on our zone here, guys. So, you know, it's not looking good for us here. We are getting pressured back a little bit. Tom's going to get uh, killed here, I believe. Or he survives at 1 HP. Uh, but me and me and Tom are going to try and pinch. Okay, Tom survives. Whitey goes there. I don't know why he went there. I think he could have just uh, sold a lot of time. But again, guys, Spen, I don't know what he's doing up there. But he's just absolutely bossing them there. I'm going to go a bit aggro here and take him out. Uh, I, did, I did see Sun stop placing the turret. If I was Sun, I'll place my turret and uh, tank a little bit of shots there. And we'll just get a good slow on me so that his teammate can uh, get the trade. But as you see right now, I get a nice little uh, pick there. So, you know, we're definitely looking good there. Again, Tom with amazing taps, guys. Again, Spen's literally never lost outside the whole game. It's just really good for us. And he's, he's going to be blocking that off there, guys. And, uh, you know, they can't do much there. They're going to get trapped. We're getting so much time here. I'm just keeping uh, Jesse back the whole time. Then he's gonna slow me there, guys. But it's it's basically too late here. Uh, why does the HP? I'm gonna think. I think I'm gonna take him out here. And yeah, I'm gonna take him out there, guys. We get this on a very, very dominant win, I'd say, for uh, this map pick, guys. This is an amazing map for us. We'd absolutely love to play this, guys. But you know, pay down to start player. But we're gonna heading into a match point for us in the next game. And uh, here we are into the next game, guys. We decided to go uh, something risky here, and we decided to go Byron double tank here. You know, and they decided to go Gene Max Jesse, which was so good for us because if we went Sprout, we would have been absolutely wrecked there. So, you know, definitely a good pick by us, guys. But, you know, we just played it normally, you know, just heal up and push up the map. And that's exactly what I did, guys. I went the grass up power because I doubt they would have been in the grass for so much or for too long there. So, you know, that's why we decided to go that. Whitey with a nice pull there, guys. But as you see right now, I'm getting a good amount of pressure. I'm going to get my super, I think, from that. Or I'm very, very close. I think I'm one punch away or something. But, you know, not the best start for us, guys. But, you know, we're just burning those... Uh, Gadgets and uh, yeah gadgets basically and the turrets and stuff like that But you know curse managed to get on our zone, which is not great, but you know me and Tom do a good job at pinching here And uh, I'm gonna just go push up on that right side. I mean left side zone And uh, I think that's what they did as an like an error there They just let me push up too much Tom gets picked out there, which is quite unfortunate guys And it just wasn't great, but as you see right now I managed to push up here and I'm just doing really well I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be trying to heal up here, and I'm going to just push this uh, Jesse, guys. I just don't care. I'm going to go full there. Whitey's going to auto-aim that pull, and it's going to go backwards, guys. Uh, yeah, just don't, don't auto-aim your pulls unless they're literally in your face there. That's my little tip there. But as right now, Tom, I don't know how he stays alive here, but he gets a nice little kill onto uh, the Gene there. And again, Spence tapping, guys. Spence doing his thing. Whitey uh, is going to be uh, not having his knockback, I think, and I'm going to go absolutely ham here, guys. All I need to do is run in, get pressure, respawn, do the same thing, guys. And uh, hoping that we just get uh, keep on getting percentage here, guys. Because uh, even though we're down, we literally haven't co collected our zone yet. Which is like, <laughs> like, which is like a big thing there. And that's why we just did it really well here. And as right now, Spen's going to get pulled here. I don't know why Wiley didn't, didn't just pull me. And they could have just collectively taken me out here. Because right now, I've got this position here. And I'm just being a, such a nuisance for these guys to deal with. Why do you doesn't even bother checking this left side, which is... You know, I'll tell you that quite bad thing. You know, you got to check all your bushes. You got to be extra cautious here, guys. You can't just leave around the corner here. And, uh, you know, me and Tom on this zone here, guys. We're so close to getting this zone. 
Tom with a nice super, managed to take him out. Uh, Jesse, you know, Jesse's doing a thing. Jesse's bouncing around and stuff, and we're, we're just so close to getting this zone here, which has given us such a big lead. And, you know, I, I didn't quite realize that we literally got nothing from our zone. As you see, that's one tick there. You know, we're good. And I, I was just literally focusing on just playing the game and just, uh, you know, going up and just distracting them, guys. And, yeah. And then, then like, I don't know. I think in communication and stuff, like, Ben said, okay, we just got to get our zone. And that's exactly what we did. Tom stays alive, guys. That's absolutely a big there. And it gets the turret down to, like, 1 HP. And, uh, you know, it looks like they're about to win the game, guys. But, you know, we did a good job at holding off here. I'm going to keep Curse back. I think Curse should have been a lot more patient and waited for his team to push up. I'm going to get taken out here, guys. But, you know, you got Big Frank, Big Tom here, you know, taking care of a business here. Gene does have pull. Gene's going to pull Tom. And it's 91 to 92%. Spen's going to stay on the zone, guys, which is really big. I get a nice little kill there. I don't know why Curse banned there, not going to lie. But, you know, we managed to get the win here, guys. And, uh, you know... That's, it was it's just an amazing feeling, guys. We just beat XL 2 0. It was a perfect sweep there, and it was just amazing, guys. But you know, we're carrying on the bracket, guys. So that was the quarterfinals here, guys. Now we're gonna go into the semifinals. Here we go, guys, into the semifinals match. This is set number one here, double swoosh, and the bands were Primo, Poco, Stu, and Max. So that was the bands here. So you know, it worked out really good for us, and, and uh, you know, we're feeling very, very confident here. So as you see right now, Tom's going to be on the bell, and he gets a really nice slow here, guys. So, you know, worked out well. I'm going to be on Tara, guys. So, you know, uh, Tom, <laughs> Tom used to play Tara for the team, but now the roles are swapped a little bit, you know, because uh, our team's a lot more flexible, and I think I'm a pretty decent Tara here, not going to lie. So, that's why I feel like it works out really well here. And uh, as you see right now, Spen is, uh, you know, he's got a good control here in the mid here. And, uh, you know, the way this map works is that, you know, Gene got to do his thing in mid, but the lanes are like the most important thing and you got to support your lane as a gene here and that's what Spen did really good at. He just keep kept on scouting uh, Tom's lane here so that Tara couldn't push up. And as you see right now, Tara's lurking around that uh, back side and we just don't know. So that's why we kept scouting it. And then I think I see in the top of my screen that Tara has a pet down. Then I obviously see Tara into the bush. And uh, then, you know, I start pushing up a little bit here. And, uh, you know, I start getting pinched a little bit. But again, Tom gets some really important taps which just relieves so much pressure from me. And uh, I'm going to put my pets down because I was worried that Gene's going to go for like an aggro pull there. Tom's going to get pressured a little bit. He's going to have like three little pets on him. And, uh, you know, I'm actually... This is, a, this is a nice little play I did. I'm actually route my way around, get a nice little kill there, get another double kill there. And, you know, we just got the gem spent with a nice read onto the Tara's moving. And we managed to pick off that, guys. So that was really, really nice for us. And it just worked out amazingly. So as you see right now, Tom's, uh, you know, keeping them back. And we're going to get the win here. Because they can't really come back in time. And, you know, it was a really nice play by me, guys. I just hit, like, an amazing route. And we managed to pick up the first game there. So, again, good start for us heading into the next game. Hey, well, guys, into the next game. We did kind of lose the next game here. So, it's 1-1 in this first set here. So, you know, very, very intense here, guys. But we're going to be heading into the next game here. And I'm going to be playing mid right now. Because I'm going to put down my pet so that Gene wastes a bit of ammo. So, Spain can push up a little bit. And, you know, it kind of works out well because uh, their Gene is weak. And, you know, I'm against the Amber lane here. Tom again on the bell. The pick Spike was a very, very interesting pick. Uh, I think I remember seeing them scrim a Spike. So, you know, I wasn't too surprised by it. But again, it's just definitely a risky thing to go against when you have a bell, which basically three taps you or like two taps you and like a, dream, a gene just like trickles you down. So that's why I thought I was really surprised there. So, you know, um, but anyways, right now, you know, getting good gem control here. Spen's going to push up really aggro. I'm going to support him here. And uh, I think I'm going to start pushing this Amber here. But as you see right now, Tom wins lane. And uh, as the Gene's going to push Tom there and waste his ammo, we get a lot of info on where the Gene is. So Gene's going to get pushed out. I'm going to push this Amber here. I'm going to get taken out here, which kind of sucks here. But, you know, we definitely get the position that we want. That's a really nice tap by Tom, guys. You know, just really so much pressure. Spend again, wins my lane for me. So, you know, thank you, Spend, for that. And uh, I'm going to put my pets down mid so that the so that the Gene and Spike need to waste ammo here. And, you know, they kind of waste a lot of ammo and time. And I'm going to get taken out again, guys. But again... I'm just playing for my super. That's a really good tag by Tom, guys. Like, that's really, really important. It makes it so that, like, the gem carrier needs to just play a little more, a little more cautiously because he just gets, like, two tapped and uh, a tap by, like, I think one Tara card. So he just needs to be more careful. I just ran out 7 to 4 there, but, you know, they start getting a lot of positioning there after we kind of went down here. So it wasn't great. And I think this is where it started to get a bit panicky there. Spend so Mrs. Paul, which is, you know, quite unfortunate there. Can't do much about it. I have my Paul here. I'm going to just uh, heal up right now. We're getting pushed back. I got a nice little pull onto him. Spen's going to confirm that kill for me. So, you know, again, me and Spen working really well together. It's 9-7 to seven here. We do have the lead, but, you know, it gets a bit sketchy here towards uh, this uh, uh, moment of time right now. So, it's 9-8. It's really, really close, guys. 
We just play smart. Uh, I kind of shift my way over to the right side there because I feel like it wasn't too great for me to push there. I'm going to get taken out there, but good thing I do enough damage for Spen to just trickle down the spike there. So, you know, good there. Tom popping off, guys. Tom getting get the kill there, I think. There we go, guys. Tom's just absolutely amazing there. He just absolutely popped off there at the right time, guys. So, you know, credit to Tom for, you know, basically winning us that game here. But, you know, it gets a bit mixy over here. So, we need to just uh, back up there. That's a really nice pull there. And uh, I'm going to use my Tara pull there. I kind of panicked. I thought I could delay it enough so that they can't pick it up. But Spike just swoops in, picks it up. Spen gets taken out, guys. For us, honestly, I was like, hmm, this isn't the best position to be in. But, you know, good thing that Tom still had his positioning there, guys. Tom just turned up huge in this game, guys. You know, we all taking the opportunity to pop off. Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's Tom, sometimes it's Spen. That's what you love to see. And it's just a team effort at the end of the day. So that's why it's really good. But as you see right now, it's 12 to 13 here. It's literally going down to the wire. There's only like, what, three more gems? Okay, no, I lied. Five more gems that spawn in. So, you know, it's very close. But there you go, guys. Uh, I'm going to get pulled there. But, you know, again, Spen with that really nice pull there, guys. Tom's going to get a nice little double kill. He's going to pick him off. I'm going to get a Tara pull there. And, uh, you know, it's going to do really, really well. Guys, again, Tom is just absolutely popping off here. I don't know what else to tell you. He's just absolutely amazing there. That Gene kind of panics and misses pull, guys. If he hit that pull, eh, they probably would have won the game, not going to lie. It's just too much pressure for us. But again, it's really hype, guys. We managed to win this set. And after that insane game, we've managed to win the set 2 1. So, you know, definitely, uh, they're a really good team, guys. Definitely uh, did it well, guys. But we're, we're going to be heading straight into the next set. So, we're going to head into the next game, guys. I'm going to skip the first game here. And uh, we did manage to win the first game here. So, yeah, this is a uh, match point for us here. You know, we're feeling really, really good for ourselves. And, uh, yeah, so we decided this is the exact same comps that happened in the first game. We decided to go with standard comp, which is Tick, Piper, and Nanny here. And uh, as you see right now, they're going to be going Brock, Nanny, and Piper. So, you know, uh, definitely a uh, bit of a mixy comp, I would say here. You know, Brock, I understand it's complete for the tick here, but you know, Tom just readjusted positioning here, and you know, we just played it really well. This map was very, very passive, guys. Like, when you're like in this uh, type of play, I guess it's just everyone plays so passive. It's like all heated and stuff. Very intense moment, and you just don't want to make a mistake here. So that's why everyone played so passive. And as right now, I'm playing on my range here, and uh, Spence playing on his range. Tom's playing around the wall there, so you know. It's just very, very passive overall here. So that's why you'll see, you know, I think there's only a few kills on this game. And then that's it. The game's over. And uh, as right now, I'm going to go with this uh, Piper skin here. My, I don't know. I think people question it. But that was a really nice play by me and Spen, guys. I'm going to tap him. Spen's going to finish off with the head, guys. Because Nani's head can't really finish off. Well, Nani's head uh, instantly can't really take out anyone here. So that's why it sucked. I'm going to get a nice tap there. I got a bit too excited here. I'm going to get take out by the Nani head. Uh, I should have probably focused there a little bit more on where the nanny head was and Spen did communicate But I just I don't know. I think I was just lost in the moment there I was thinking about gadgeting a uh, pipe and killing him as well So, you know kind of my fault there that we uh, you know take go down two stars But it's still fine. You know, we still got blue star here and uh, you know, we still got that one star lead But you know definitely uh, sketchy and getting close guys last 30 seconds left So we just have to be really really careful here and uh, as you see right now uh, I'm gonna get gadgeted a little bit here. So, you know, not the best and uh, it's time to push up there. I got a nice little gadget onto the Piper here, guys. And uh, as you see right now, I'm going to get hit by Nanny there. I'm going to... I think I get hit by Nanny here again. Or Piper. Okay, I'm going to get hit there. He's going to gadget. He's going to miss, I think. Okay, no, it's going to kill me. And, uh, you know, that kill wasn't too great, guys. That's why we lost the game. It's definitely my bad, guys. I definitely should have played it a lot smarter. I definitely did some really bad plays that game. So, yeah, that game's on me, guys. But, you know, it's one win in the set, guys. It's still match point for us. So, you know, heading into the next game. And here we are, guys, into the match point game for us here. And, you know, if we win this, we win the series. If they win, they take it down to a third set here. And uh, as you see right now, Tom is going to be playing tick mid. It's the same type of play, guys. But we decided to switch up a little bit, I think, towards the match. Uh, Tom's going to stay mid for now. And he gets blue stars. And that's when he starts to rotate, guys. I really got early pressure here, which is so good for us. So, you know, it's really, really good here, but I can't really push up anymore because Nani does have that gadget. So, I can't really hit him because I will inflict a lot of damage here. So, that's why I let Spen or Tom take it out, and that's what they did. And, you know, it worked out really well for us. I'm going to get Piper gadgeted there, so I need to back up a little bit. Tom gets tapped as well, guys. So, you know, Calvin or, you know, FX, he just played really, really well there. I'm not FX, FK. Yeah, so he did a really good job here, but, you know, we're definitely staying composed. I'm going to tap the Brock there so that Spen can kill him. And exactly, guys, it just works out so perfectly there, guys. Just me and Spen. Really good at coordinating here, so, you know, it worked out really well here, and, you know, you know, we get the kills, and we're up by three stars here, so two of us need to die in order for them to win at this rate, so, you know, definitely the odds are in our favor here, guys. I'm going to push this Brock here. I do get tapped by Brock a little bit, so I do need to be careful, but for the most part, it does work out really well here, and uh, as you see right now, we're doing a good job. Uh, Piper's going to gadget me. I did not know where the Piper was. He was off my screen there, so I'm going to get taken out by the gadget. 
Spen's gonna do a good job at taking, tanking that nanny head, and you know, it's gonna be weak. I'm basically gonna try and cover him, and nanny's gonna make his way forward, guys. You know, 36 seconds left. We're getting pushed back here a little bit, but again, guys, the fact that we have tick is that we cut, we basically prevent them from not pushing our spawn completely. So that's why, you know, that we picked the tick, guys. Tick is just so good here, and you know, we're not risking anything here. And as right now, Tom's, I mean, Tom, Tom and Spen, I mean, we basically all just play the edge here. I'm going to start playing a bit defensive, guys. And as you see right now, I'm using this wall to my advantage here. I'm going to be just peeking left and right. He's going to pop a gadget. I'm going to miss that gadget there. That was a really bad gadget. He misses the gadget as well there. And that could have been really bad. I think I could have take, get taken out there. But, you know, they're pushing there. Tom gets a nice head. He's going to get one kill. I'm going to kill the Piper. And now he's dead, guys. And we managed to win, guys. You know, absolutely stoked to win that, guys. And that confirmed our places in the monthly qualifiers here. I mean, I mean the monthly finals. So, you know, really, really good game to buy us, guys. But it doesn't end there, guys. We played the finals against Bunker for seeding, guys. So let's just get into those games. Here, we go, guys, into the finals for this bracket here. So, you know, both these teams have made it to the monthly finals, but we're playing for seeding here. We're playing for the sixth seed so that we know that versus uh, big in the monthly finals, quarter finals here. So, as you see right now, we're going our standard uh, Surge, Bali, and Rico comp here. If you guys saw Spen's video, he I think he showed this comp here. So, you know, we're doing really good. I'm going to TP here. Uh, I didn't get the best TPs here, but I think my TP did a lot of funneling and good pressure there. So, that's why I feel like. It worked out in the end, but again, I doubt my level here, so it kind of sucks here, but you know, I'm going to just hold off my last TP and just try to work my way. But again, guys, the amount of pressure we had was just amazing. And uh, Tom does a really good job at Bali, guys. If you guys didn't know, Tom's literally like one of the best. He probably is the best Bali in the world, let's be honest here. He's just absolutely insane. He's just so good at creating like ways for your teammate. He just, he just makes the game easier to play, which is just, you know, you love to have a teammate like that, don't you? But as right now, Spen's going to make his way back to left. I'm going to spawn in. I did get my upgrade because I did manage to get a few shots in. And, you know, it works really well. I don't know if I said the bands already, but yeah, bands are Stu, Bell, Primo, and uh, Poco. So that's what the bands are. So that's why you're not seeing any Poco comps here. But as you see right now, I get a nice little shot there. I'm going to get a nice shot again. Guys, we're just making them, uh, you know, in really awkward positions here. Spin gets a nice kill, guys. We really love the Rico pick here. Spin definitely loves it, guys. He always asks to play the Rico here because he actually loves it here. And, you know, we're just waiting for this B here. We're going to go for this opportunity. I'm going to find this spike, trying to get back quickly. And we get the kills. Boom, we get the goal here, guys, and, you know, we're doing really well here. We get 1-0 already in Brawl here, and, uh, you know, we're just waiting uh, for them to push up. We don't need to push up. We don't need to rush anything here, so, you know, we played it really well right now. So, as you see, I'm going to be just playing there. I think I have one more TP left, and I can use it there. I got a kill. There we go, and we managed to push up here. I think Spen's going to get 3k there, which is uh, really unfortunate here, but, you know, I think it all works out. I get my level 3 upgrade here, so, you know, that's a really good TP there by me, but that was my last TP here, so, you know, it's going to be really hard to push out. Uh, I wish I could just TP now and just take him out. But, you know, unfortunately, I can't. It doesn't work like that. But, you know, uh, we're getting a bit pressured here. I think Bali should have definitely found a way to push up a lot sooner. But, again, guys, it's just all Tom here. Tom's just doing a really good job here. Tom gets a nice super. I think he's going to be able to take out Spike here. No, he's going to take out Bali there, which is really important, guys, because Bali was the main baller pushing us up. And uh, I'm just going to pick up the ball and pass it in the corner there guys i'm gonna take out one I'm gonna take out two and there we go guys perfect way to end this game here guys they can't do much here guys and as you see right now there we go pick up the win first game win guys in the finals so let's just get into the next game here we go guys into the next game and you know <laughs> a lot of people wanted to me to play this baller here guys but yes i am on b you know it's been a long way so this is my first time playing b in competitive here because i'm not really a team b actually no i played b in uh kaboom Never mind, guys. Just don't, just ignore me completely. But as you see right now, they got tanks. We decided to go Ross instead of the Surge. And uh, we decided to go Rico. We decided to go B instead of Rico here. So we switched that up. And again, we did a really nice read onto them here. We're feeling really confident here. And uh, I think we did play this. Didn't We didn't play this the best here to some extent. Uh, I'll show you guys where we didn't play the best here. But, you know, it's completely on me. But as you see right now, I got a nice little shot there. I'm going to try and get my slow one. I missed my slow, which wasn't the best there. But, you know, it still managed to work out towards the end here because, you know, we just completely countered them. And uh, as you see right now, we get a nice little kill on the Frank. I'm going to slow down this Mortis, I think. Okay, this is where I mess up here. I don't know why I go so aggro. I'm going to just mess up there. And, you know, I think it just managed cost us here. They're going to be able to... They, they were so close to scoring here. But good thing that BB decided to go all the way around here. They could have scored there. So, yeah. Definitely a big misplay by me there. And, you know, I just need to relax a little bit. i got to chill out and, you know, just uh, take my time next time. So, you know, I definitely just pointed that out. During the games here. But as you see right now. Mortis can't do much here guys. Because we're just playing it to perfection here. And it's just really good teamwork there guys. Spence going to go in. Spence asked for the ball. I tried to pass it to him. I just. I don't know why I was doing that. I just played it so bad. And towards this like. Middle part of the game here. But you know. We did manage to clutch up. 
Towards the end here, as you see right now, Tom's gonna be on the Bali here. I don't know why Mortis didn't go after Bali too much. I think he just went a bit too much after me and Spen here. But as you see right now, I have my 4k here. I'm gonna get him. There we go. I'm gonna stay alive. And, uh, you know, he didn't gadget there or else he would have been able to kill me. And God knows what he could have done after that. So, you know, definitely a bit fortunate from that here. But as you see right now, uh, we did a really good job at pushing them back. And uh, Spen's doing good here as well. Spen's going to find the opportunity, guys. I didn't personally know he had that little uh, cheeky little spot there until he scored. And there you go, guys. Ben gets us a nice, comfortable lead here. We're going to pick out part this uh, BB there. I'm going to try and pick up the ball. I'm going to intercept the pass. Going to clear the ball there. Uh, Frank is still slowed. Uh, Spen with a really nice uh, knock there. He's going to be able to uh, stun away Frank. And, uh, you know, they decide to go for a very aggro play. But, you know, good thing Spen read it. And, you know, we're down to 14 seconds left, guys. Spend again with a nice little play there. That was a very, very weird pass. I don't know why he just didn't bounce it, but he just made it so that it was far away. And uh, as you see right now, me and Tom and Spend, we're just tanking it. You know, we all communicated where we're going. And boom, we get the victory, guys. That's going to be set number one, guys. We only need one more set for the win. So, yes, heading into the next game. So, guys, into the next game here. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a Minecraft Madness here, which is, you know, I, I feel like it's a really good map for us. So, felt pretty confident on this. But as you see right now, it's going to be a uh, Gene Crow Amber for us here. And, uh, you know, we decided to grow the crow because, you know, we decided we're not going to go like Sprout. We're going to go Sprout first game, but we decided it's a bit too obvious here. And good thing we'd, uh, you know, we played a bit smart here because, you know, we would have been screwed there. And uh, Moist been able to wreck us here. But good thing we get a nice little read on them. I think I'm going to get pulled here. There we go. I'm going to get pulled here. So, you know, not the best, but we do manage to uh, keep good control there, guys. We just kept the mort Mortis isolated the whole time. So that's why we did really, really well. And uh, as you see right now, I'm going to get back up on the field here. I do have my slows here. I, uh, I think later down the game, you'll see me, me and my slows doing really well. I get a nice little tag. I'm going to slow him down now so that we can get a nice little pick off there. And uh, he wastes his gadget, guys. So, you know, that's really good for us. So, we're doing really, really nice right now. And Tom with a nice little super there. He's going to be uh, basically blocking off that area. And he gets a nice little uh, hit onto the mortise there. And again... They're getting pushed back, guys. We just had a relentless amount of pressure, guys. We just decided to just go really, really aggro because not many teams expect us to play aggro here. That's why we decided to switch it up a little bit. And uh, as you see right now, we're 8 to uh, 3 right now. We get a nice little gem spawn there as well. And we get uh, 9 to 3 there. So we get, we get a nice lead. I'm going to jump. I'm going to take out the gene there. So Max is going to be getting all the gems. And uh, this Moist is going to go absolutely ham. He gets a nice little bats there, guys. He gets his bats again. Spence gonna take him out here. This was a very, very mixy here. And uh, as you see right now, Jean goes for the pull there, but good thing uh, the minecart saved me there because they would have been able to get, I think I had uh, how many gems? Three? Wait, actually, I don't have any gems. Oh, wait, no, I did go down. Okay, I think I had like three or four gems there. I think that's what it was. But as you see right now, it's 8 8. They've managed to bring it back there, so that, you know, really well played by them guys. They gave us a really, really tough fight in this uh, gem grab game here. But, you know, I managed to just keep them all alight there. I think I'm going to get a nice little slow. Actually, I don't know if I have slow. I don't. I doubt I have slows here. But as right now, we're doing good here. They get a countdown going here. But all we need is to uh, pick up the gems here. I'm going to just jump out there in case. I don't. I really don't want to risk anything, guys. It's just all came down to, uh, you know, playing smart. Getting those good decision making going there, guys. And, you know, he gets the mortis gets caught out a little bit. So, yeah, we get a nice little pressure onto him. And, uh, you know, then Max gets hit by the minecart, guys. So, again, so many little things just giving us so much time and so much control here. Spent with a miss pull there, which kind of sucks. And, uh, you know, this Gene's going to go there. And he's going to pull Tom. Uh, I think that was uh, that was definitely my fault. I don't know why I didn't imagine Gene pulling there. But, you know, he doesn't manage to pick up too many gems. I got a nice little kill there. I have five gems, guys. It's 12-12. It's tied again. But again, we're keeping Mortis weak, and they have their worst two balls to have the gems on, which is good for us. Tom again gets a nice little burn. And Mortis, he just he just played it horribly, I think, towards the end. I think he panicked a little bit here, and we just got so much control. Again, guys, Tom popping off here. He's going to get the kill there, guys, and it's going to be at 14 to 12 here. So we can just pack off. I'm going to jump off. I'm gonna, not jump off. I'm going to jump down there, guys, and we get the win, guys. Nice little pull by the end, guys. Match point for us. For us taking the uh, little uh, tiebreaker tournament, guys. So, let's get into the next game. So, uh, here we guys into the next game here. And, uh, you know, we decided to switch it up. I was talking about uh, what kind of comp we wanted to go. So, we decided to go with the second game. Because, you know, again, we want to be a bit unpredictable here. And that's exactly what we did. So, as you see right now, we did a really good job at that. And, uh, you know, spend with this little sprout pick, guys. It, we, and we got first minecart as well. So, it just worked out really well in our favor. And we just managed to push them back. So far, and you know, it just worked really well. As you see right now, Spen, amazing guys. As I talked about Spen Sprout earlier, he's just 
He's just so good with it, and that's why he put me on Gene here, so I can just let him shine for a little bit, and, uh, you know, it just worked out good. Then with a nice wall here, I'm going to just... Tom gets a nice slow. We did really good coordination when it comes to Crow Slow and the Gene Paul, and it worked out in our favor, guys. So we're 6-0 and right now. You know, doing really well. 7-0 and here. And again, Tom, guys, Tom's just an amazing Crow, and he's going to be weak as well. We know Gene has balls, so we have to... Dial it back a little bit. Tom picked up gem, but it doesn't really matter because we're all basically playing together here. And, uh, you know, so it doesn't really matter who gets the gems at this rate. But again, guys, Ben making everyone's life a lot easier here. Just handling his lane all the time, guys. Just truly an amazing sprout here, guys. And, uh, you know, 9-0 and right now. We're just absolutely dominating them. And uh, as you see now, I'm, my job is basically to keep them weak here. We get the 10th gem. And uh, it's 10-1 here. Absolutely dominant. I get a nice little pick onto them so that they're not going to be able to push us here, guys. And Tom's going to try and keep Amber weak. Crow's going to try and jump in here. I did call out. I have knockback. I had literally three knockbacks left. And boom, we managed to take him out. I'm going to get taken out here. So they're going to stop the countdown a little bit. Gene's going to get pulled. But I think Amber did deliver us one gem here. So that's why the countdown... That's why they didn't, they, uh, they didn't, they didn't, we had enough gems here because of Amber. She basically delivered us one gem here. But, you know, now we just, I decided to go for the Gene here. I'm going to get... Spence going to get a nice little wall there. Going to block off the Sprout. I'm going to get a nice little pull onto this Amber. Going to knock him back. Boom, and we cement our victory there, guys. And, you know, it was a very, very intense day. Definitely not how I thought it was going to go, you know. Definitely had some uh, higher expectations, but, you know, I kind of preferred this, you know. It just made me feel so good. Made us know, like, where we are, what level we can play at, and, you know, just overall really, really good, guys. But, you know, it's a long video here, guys. I think this video is, like, 40 minutes long here. So, if you guys have stuck through the whole video, I really appreciate you. You know, I really appreciate it all, guys. But, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.